The Parker Mine is a phlogopite mica prospect that was worked in the early 1900s. It's located near the town of Notre Dame du Lot in Quebec, about 74 kilometers north of Ottawa, Ontario. The pit is located in a green rock complex that's composed of what's interpreted to be metagabro, amphibolite, and calxilicate rock near anorthosite and marble. Iron-rich magnesium aluminum spinel occurs with forsterite, which is a magnesium silicate that's part of the olivine group, in calcite veins cutting the green rock, the anorthosite, and a calcite forsterite rock. Here's a black spinel crystal in a calcite vein, and the vein also contains grayish green forsterite. Crystal specimens are recovered by breaking calcite-rich rocks with a hammer. Using hydrochloric acid on calcite-bearing rocks to expose crystals is a very common technique used throughout Ontario and Quebec, but it doesn't work here because the forsterite is very heavily chemically altered in the process. It is possible to do it with vinegar and the level of alteration is far lower so the specimens can actually look pretty good but it would probably take at least a month or two. I found this crystal loose in the soil and it displays really interesting parallel growth morphology and the crystal is fairly large, it measures 2.5 centimeters. This is my best specimen of spinel from the Parker mine. It contains a really unusually large amount of undamaged spinel crystals in calcite and the largest spinel is 1.5 centimeters across. Now when you're collecting at the Parker mine, you're breaking the rock and hoping that the calcite breaks in such a way that the spinel and or forsterite crystals are undamaged and this is actually quite rare. So to get this number of undamaged spinel crystals on a single specimen is extraordinarily rare. Here's a really good example of a green forsterite crystal with spinel and calcite from a typical vein material. And lastly, this is my best forsterite crystal specimen. It's even rarer to get an undamaged forsterite relative to spinel because they tend to be longer and they chip far more easily. And I've never seen a better exposed crystal of forsterite than this one on Matrix because 
it's still on the host rock, on the matrix, but it's been exposed all around with no damage. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe for more and show your support by liking and subscribing. Okay.